To put it into context, this is the first time that a one megawatt aircraft powertrain has run with liquid hydrogen. It's a huge milestone for universal hydrogen, but also for aviation as a whole. So basically, we're in charge of designing the liquid hydrogen modules that will be powering the future universal hydrogen ATR-72 that we'll be putting into service. This is a modular design, so we can fill the module in a filling facility, we can transport it on a truck, and then we bring them to airports so that every airport is hydrogen ready. This is our liquid hydrogen dispenser, so we fill with liquid hydrogen here on this port. This is here for performing flushing of the lines over to the module and also to manage the pressures and the flow rates. We have two lines here. One sends a cryogenic liquid hydrogen and then the other one is simply to take any gaseous hydrogen from the tank that goes up the chimney. This is our liquid hydrogen capsule. This is a double walled vacuum insulated vessel. For an aircraft application, what's great about liquid hydrogen is we can put a lot of hydrogen in the capsule and therefore on the aircraft, which means that we have an aircraft that can go long distances. We're actually extracting liquid hydrogen within the tank system into heat exchangers. This liquid hydrogen is then vaporized using coolant, which takes heat from the powertrain. And then we're sending warm gaseous hydrogen through this feed line, through these lines here on the ground. We feed it to the fuel cells. That generates electricity, which goes to the electrical motor. We spin the prop. And this is the first time in history that anyone has run a one megawatt aircraft powertrain from liquid hydrogen. For me, this is all about showing the way. We can actually bring an aircraft into service that does not produce harmful emissions and does not contribute to climate change. This is all about sustainability, and we're all kind of motivated knowing that what we're doing is literally going to contribute to the future.